Hi, I'm Paul. It's December 24th, 2023, and I decided to make a few videos for those that are either new to YouTube and uh, making videos, other content creators. So I've been doing this for more than a year, and I've learned a lot. And one thing I've learned is that audio is probably the most important thing if you're going to be making videos. So I'm, I use two applications. One is Audacity, which is a audio editing software utility. And the other one is DaVinci Resolve, which is the video editor. Uh, there's uh, free versions for both. Audacity is totally free. There is no paid version. DaVinci Resolve has a paid version, but it's a one-time fee. But I'm not going to deal with that right now. This first video is just how to set up Audacity to get it ready before um, you start bringing audio or video files into it. And I've also... I've got a PDF that I created that you can download for free. I'll put that in the description of the video. Okay, before we get started, I want to show you someone who's got great audio, someone who's done an, an excellent job. So this is Lex Fried Friedman's channel. He does really good long-form interviews. So just go over to his channel, select any That's video, you can just stop it. Right mouse click anywhere and select stats for nerds. So let me move myself out of the way here. So this first value in the line with volume and normalized, the first hundred percent, that's the value as you're moving the slider for the volume on the video. The second is the content loudness, which is the, the loudness level as humans perceive loudness. It's, it's, they're, they're showing you a decibel level, but it's called loudness units, full scale LUFs. If you go to any one of his videos, you're going to see minus 2.0 dB or minus 1.9. So whoever's doing his audio has got it down to a science because they're, they're, all of them that I've checked and I went back, you know, a ways, they're always the same. So ideally, the proper level would be 0 dB. But that's difficult to get to because, for instance, the length of this video, uh, it's probably, a f yeah, it's three hours and 19 minutes long. This value, this content loudness, is an average that is taken from the beginning of the video to the end of the, the video, the, the audio. So minus two... Or and be able be able to being able to keep it consistently at that level is excellent, and anything around minus three to zero dB is probably perfect. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the next few videos. But for right now, we're going to get Audacity set up correctly. So. Let me open Audacity. Okay, so you can go to audacityteam.org to download Audacity. The links will be in the description, and it's also, everything is in the PDF. So if you need help with the download, here's the, here's the download button. Or you can just come to download, and if you're using Windows, just click on that. There's also a help, and again, this is all in the PDF. Um, there's uh, for support, and if you're not sure how to do it, just 
go to help and you can just select this download and installing audacity it also comes with a manual that explains everything and right now i'm using version 3.4.2 i believe is the most current version so um yeah 3.4.2 is the most current version so once you've got it downloaded, it's easy to download. Um, and once you get get it download, downloaded and installed, um, then uh, I'm, I'm, we're going to open up Audacity. And I'm going to show you how to get the ba the basics to get it set up to start using. Okay, so we've got Audacity open. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is Come up to Edit, and then Preferences, and select the Audio Settings. And again, all of this, there's screenshots and um, explanation in the um, uh, PDF uh, on what I'm doing. So... Some of these will be uh, um, just your default. It should recognize the speakers that you're using um, and the microphone. Once it, as long as you've got them plugged in and turned on, it should recognize them. Right now I'm using Hyper um, X Solo Cast, which is a great little microphone. I changed this from um, stereo to mono because I only record my videos in mono that's up to you the project sample rate will be 44 100 and same thing with the default sam sample rate to get better quality change it 44,100 change it to uh, 41,100 hertz change it to 44 or to 48,000 hertz for both of them this uh, default sample format, the default is it's set on 16. 24-bit is fine. I selected 32-bit. And what I understand, it probably doesn't matter much, but I chose the best anyways. And I'm actually, I'm following along with my PDF. That's why I'm looking off to the side. Next, you want to come to quality. I'm really not sure if this was the default, but um, so the real-time um, conversion, it's just medium quality, dither is none, and then the um, sample rate uh, for the high-quality conversion, I, I have it set the best quality, slowest. I don't remember what the default was and the dither was shape, not 100% what that means, but... And the other thing you can do, if you want to see what the uh, shortcut cuts are for the sh the, the shortcut keys, um, you just come down here to shortcuts. Same thing with with the mouse, and under tool, that's there's these different tools up here, and that's what that means. There's the select and the zoom and envelope tool, and so uh, and the, the multi tool. That's this one. So that's just the different tools. And under um, application, make sure that check for updates is selected and um, make sure, um, so you'll, you'll always have the current update. So this is constantly being updated and there's absolutely no fee for it. It's completely open source uh, software. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is come up to edit. And you have the metadata editor. This is if you want to add um, copyright information. And you can just fill it out in here. And when you're done, you can collect sa or select save. And then you can save it. And it'll go to... The, this is when Audacity was installed. It will go to the correct folder 
that that Audacity set set up, and then you can change the name. So I've named one APSC video tags. You can just just save it, and then if you um, want to use that again, you can just come back. And like if you fill in certain information, you can basic information like your name um, and the year and genre or comments. And then you can um, you can save that, and then. When you're ready to use it, you can just click load, select it. And I've already done that with a few things. And then you can fill out the rest of it. And you don't have to save it if you don't want to. But if you do, that's you can always go back and change things. The next thing is come over to view. And you want to make sure that, and these aren't checked when you first install it, enable extra menus, which will give you this menu option right here. And then you want to make sure show clipping in waveform, and that will show you a vertical line in red on your audio if there's any clipping, and clipping will cause distortion. So you want to make sure that's checked. And then on the, t the extras that we just added, come down to timeline, and you can either select minutes and seconds or beats and measures. Then come over to the audio button here. You want to... Just hover over this to playback device. Make sure your speakers are selected. Recording device. Make sure your microphone is selected. And that's about it for the setup. It's just that simple. So, um, again, I'll leave links in the description for the Audacity website for the download and for... Um, I'll also leave a link for DaVinci Resolve, uh, although I'm not going to get to that yet. Um, that uh, that won't. The next video is going to be just using Audacity, bringing an audio file uh, or a video into it, and it will extract the audio file. But I'll put links for DaVinci Resolve in all the videos, also, so you can um, so you can check it out if you'd like. So thanks for watching.